This week on the cinemas, American Sniper, The Wedding Ringer, and Selma. We're joined by rising star Athean Crockett of The Wedding Ringer, and we highlight the Caribbean classic from Jamaica, Ring the Alarm. Plus, we're introducing our first ever smartphone film contest. From Los Angeles to New York, from the Bahamas down to Trinidad, I think it's safe to say we all crave a world of vibrant Caribbean cinema. And much like Hollywood, Carrollwood is this mythical idea. It's the stuff of dreams. And like all dreams, we must now work collectively as a region and as a people to achieve it. And that is this space, this film, television, and digital community. This is The Cinemas. For 160 kills. Mm. Here's a look at what's playing in theaters throughout the Caribbean. You might have seen things or done some things over there that you wish you hadn't. Oh, that's not me, no. What's not you? I was just protecting my guys. They were trying to kill our soldiers, and uh, I'm willing to meet my creator and answer for every shot that I took. American Sniper is one of eight films currently up for Best Picture nominee at the Academy Awards. And whether you're a liberal or a conservative, you can't deny this is provocative filmmaking. From director Clint Eastwood comes American Sniper. It stars Bradley Cooper as Chris Kyle, the most lethal sniper in U.S. military history. But there was much more to this American soldier than his skill with a rifle. In this story, U.S. Navy SEAL sniper Chris Kyle is sent to Iraq with only one mission, to protect his brothers in arms. We're giving American Sniper three likes. Next up is The Wedding Ringer. My best man. Doug Harris, played by Josh Gad, is a lovable but socially awkward groom-to-be with a problem. He has no best man. With less than two weeks to go until he marries the girl of his dreams, Doug is referred to Jimmy Callahan, played by Kevin Hart, owner and CEO of Best Man Incorporated, a company that provides flattering best men for socially challenged guys in need. So what follows are all of the cheap laughs and stereotypes that we've become accustomed to from a Hollywood bromance. However, I will say that there was something endearing about its themes and something endearing about these cast of characters aiming to pull off this great con. The Wedding Ringer edges in at two likes. Lastly is Selma. Selma is the story of a movement. The film chronicles the tumultuous three-month period in 1965 when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. led a dangerous campaign to secure equal voting rights in the face of violent opposition. Selma is a triumph of writing, directing, and acting. What's best about the film is how director Ava DuVernay and actor David Oyelowo find all of the nuances in what probably made Dr. King one of the greatest leaders this world has ever known. Selma gets four likes. So in case you're wondering how we've devised this like rating system? Well, here it is. Each like represents a member on the panel of the cinemas. They are our film critic, Ruin Robinson, our film theorist, Tony Francis, our entertainment critic, Leslie Tynes, and myself, filmmaker, Travolta Cooper. So we got some comments on our Instagram page regarding Selma. And one read that, I'm watching you, you better watch it, you bastard. Okay, so follow us at the cinemas on Instagram and uh, send us your comments, send us your reviews, tag us in photos at the movies. There's a chance that stuff might end up on the show. And cut. Dude, what the hell was that? What, what the heck was that? that? That just showed up in my Instagram. I watching you, you better watch it. So there what I the was, heck is going on? hosting our show, The Cinemas, when I get this weird comment on Instagram from Anonymous50. They said that they were watching me. How creepy is that? Let's just say it was the beginning of quite the adventure.
Alors, qu'est-ce que tu voudrais faire plus tard toi Carawood is Hollywood with a Caribbean twist and flavor and flair and all the good stuff that makes us the Caribbean. So I tried to put the Instagram incident behind me and we're out to go meet Atheon Crockett. Well, I tried to put it behind me. Yeah, I know. It said Anonymous 5-0. Some Instagram, Twitter handle. <laughs> Anonymous 5.0? Wait, it what? was the weirdest thing. Anonymous 5.0? Man, that sounds like naughty. Naughty done don't like Dravi. And come to think with it, it might have something to do with Leo. We just call her Princess Leo, though. <laughs> I swear, man, where does reality begin? And Hollywood end, and Hollywood end, and reality begin? I'm, I'm not even sure anymore. It's getting serious. It's time to ring the alarm. Afian Crockett is an actor out of Hollywood, but who I'm very proud to say is descended from the Caribbean island nation of Trinidad and Tobago. And he's presently starring in The Wedding Ringer with uh, Kevin Hart. So get to see him in that. I have not seen all of Afian's work, but I recently got the opportunity to watch Soul Man again for like the second or third time. And I absolutely love his character in that. I mean, as soon as he hit the screen, I can't help but laugh. He just brings sheer joy. The Wedding Ringer, congratulations. Thank you, appreciate it. How does it feel to be starring in this Karen Hart film? Producer? I mean, it's great, man. To, to be able to work with friends is always a plus in this town. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a feat to just be able to work in Hollywood. So that to have a, a film, like I said, with Kevin that I've known for probably 10, 12 years and Will Packer, who I just met, but you know, we clicked right away and this is the first of many for us. You're raised in Germany, um, yet you have Trinidadian roots. But here's a funny story. When I was five, when we were in Trinidad, on the way to Germany, my real first experience with, with celebrity was on Auntie Hazel Ward's show, it was called the Ricky Tiki Show, uh, which my mom used to do this show when she was a little girl. She was an entertainer as well. So she was known around Trinidad as the the young singer, the young star. She danced and sang and did all that kind of stuff. Right? So we go and tape this show, and we're known as Martina's sons. Like, they know us as, as her sons. And so my mom being a singer, like a real singer, like a Whitney Houston type of... Really? Or Julie uh, Andrews type of singer. Wow. So, Auntie Hazel asked me, a five-year-old, can you sing like your mom, or can you sing? I was like, yeah, sure, I can sing. And she's like, all right, go ahead and sing. And I sang Yankee Doodle. Because to me, I'm just thinking, a song. So I sang Yankee Doodle on TV, right? Right. We leave the studio, and I'm not realizing the power of television. This is where I discovered it. So we leave the studio, we're going around to visit relatives. Everywhere we went, people in the street were stopping us, like, hey, you're the boy from the Kitaki Show? I just seen you on there. I just seen you, you singing this, the, uh, the, what's it, uh, you singing the thing, you taking pictures and all that. <laughs> the greatest comedic actors like Jamie Foxx, um, and just from knowing you, just from talking to you, I sense a lot of drama, I sense a lot of death. Um, the greatest comedic actors have ventured off into drama. Are we to expect that kind of shift from, from, from Atheon? Absolutely. Yeah, you'll see, uh, Drama is definitely in my repertoire. I'm a <laughs> fan of Jeffrey Wright. I don't know if you know who this actor I is. I do know who Jeffrey Wright okay. is. Okay. Most people don't actors. know when you say the name. Oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorite actors yeah, he's is Jeffrey brilliant. Wright. Brilliant. Brilliant. Completely underrated. So, for me, that's the bar. I love the marketability of a Denzel and a Will Smith. Right. And they're, they're skillful as well. Right. But the chameleon quality that Jeffrey has is it's the same that I have in my, my comedy. <coughs> Gary Oldman is another one. Meryl Streep. Like, there's some, there's some real chameleons out there that can change their face in their Charlize Theron. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely 
plan to venture off into more of that. Right. Meryl Streep just got nominated for the 19th time. Yeah. 19 nominations. But she's, Meryl Streep is like a freak of nature. Yeah, that's, a, that's amazing. Amazing. It's, you can't even call what she does acting. Right. right. That's almost not a... That's, she might be from Mars or Pluto. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I would, if she peeled her face off and I saw a green alien face, I'd be like, oh, that makes that sense. That makes complete sense. I wouldn't sense. even, I'd, I'd offer her a donut. Like, you know, <laughs> Can't hide from your daddy forever. Jeffrey, your grandma's gonna want you to have these things, eh? So you go through the box now, and where you don't want your way, and what you want your kitty. <laughs> Listen, when we say what's our old time calypso party, <laughs> we didn't mean to be able to dress up like your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> like some grandpas are come back from the dead. <laughs> Jeffrey is a corporate accountant with Trinidad Petroleum. Grandpa was a performer. He was a great performer. Yes, that's because he was a failure at everything else. The lifestyle of a performer may suit some people, but not our family. Where you learn to dance like that? Jeffrey not too good at the mat, but he liked the music, just like his grandfather. What kind of girl meets a boy at a party anyway? Please, Carla, let me make it up to you. No. You must know where she is. No. Even if I didn't know, I'm not telling you. She's my family and I'm not taking that. My son is not a failure. Come on, let me dance for you. Well, now I'm here in New York, headed over to Anansi Studios, and uh, just making sure I'm not being followed. Uh, yeah. Miss Lucas. Hey, hey it's good to see you, man. Good to see you. <laughs> Let's go this way. Awesome, awesome. It's cold out there. I grew up in the Bahamas, but I'm originally from St. Lucia, and that's where my mom is from. So I consider myself Lucian. So in that same way, the same way that we are from so many different islands, and the Caribbean is just made up of all these different island nations. I think that film and our stories are so scattered. And because of it being scattered, I think that the cinemas can be the glue that brings it all together. Anansi Studios is distributing a Caribbean classic we're highlighting right now. That movie is called Ring the Alarm. Could you tell us how it came about? So Ring the Alarm is a film made by a collective of filmmakers in Jamaica, call themselves New Caribbean Cinema. I think there's six filmmakers. And they basically had this idea that, you know, rather than sit around and wait for people or money to make films, that they were going to make their own films and they were going to work with each other to make the films. So, in, so what they did was basically form a collective where they were each other's crew. And they helped each other during um, filming and they helped each other in, in post-production. They came up with these seven amazing short films that they then put together in a collection called Ring the Alarm. They're individual stories, but they're woven, you know, there's, there's a transition that's the same from story to story. So you just, you get glimpses of different aspects of Caribbean storytelling from these films. And they all take place on the island of Jamaica. Yes. And when they originally formed um, the group, my understanding was that they wanted to do this in every Caribbean island. So all of this first attempt was in Jamaica, but then they were going to move to, let's say, St. Lucia, for example, and gather together, you know, filmmakers in a similar manner to come up with these stories, put them together. Um, still hoping to see something like that come out of the Caribbean. Carolwood, right? Carolwood is this idea of storytelling in the Caribbean. Our own myths and legends. 
much like how Hollywood storytelling was founded on American myths and legends. I like the name Anansi because it's a myth and a legend. Uh, it's the trickster tale that you can find in all Caribbean countries. How important is our shared stories in manifesting Carolwood? Anansi is a representation of the master storyteller, and that's a, the oral tradition. Then that is, as Africans or as descendants of Africans, that's what we're good at, telling stories. So you take that storytelling craft or genius and you put it to film, give it a visual expression, and that's what you have with, with Anansi. And in terms of Currywood and a Caribbean perspective on films, I, I see the unique way in which Caribbean people tell stories with the humor and the trickiness um, as you know embodied fully by Brian Nancy <laughs> um, that that is that is going to become what is unique about the Caribbean way of telling films and underpin this curry wood. If you live in Jamaica you should be able to see a Trinidadian film. It's a good film you know you should be able to look at it but I mean part of that is infrastructure the other part is um, the people themselves and opening them up to seeing the value and seeing, um, you know, and wanting to go to see a film from, a, from another Caribbean country. There, you know, some of us can be very clannish and cling to our own. Um, so there's also an attitude that, that, that you know, you have to deal with. Right. Um, that, you know, represents a lack of interest in things that are not, that's right. a very nationalistic attitude, which is right. good, but at the same time it can harm a developing industry. Tony, how you doing? Okay. How are all of you? Hi. Doing good. I'm well. All right. Yeah. I'm Tony, and I'm from Dominica. I love film. I love uh, the Caribbean cinema, the way it's opening up and spreading out, and and all these opportunities that are um, arising out of the Caribbean. Um, I just got back from New York in the blistering cold. Mm. Uh, I was there to talk to a girl that's in charge of a Caribbean distribution company. Uh, they're distributing right now a film that came out of Jamaica. It's called Ring the Alarm. Mm -hmm. And Ring the Alarm is basically a... It's also, yeah, it's a song. <laughs> it's a good song. Ring the Alarm is a composition of six short films. These Jamaican filmmakers basically got together. Well, five from Jamaica, five or six from Jamaica, one from St. Lucia. They got together and they decided they're not going to wait on the money anymore to get these movies made. Mm -hmm. um, so they decided they're going to do it themselves. And they... Uh, they sort of formed this collective, a collective they call the New Caribbean Cinema, and they went out and they produced short films, and the short films came together as one film. I also think the idea of the New Caribbean Cinema invites 
um, new critical conversations, and uh, so it's it's going to be making film history. It's going to be the Cahiers de Cinema, Dogma 95, all over again in whole new directions, uh, because it's going to be our stories. It's going to be coming from us. And it did very well in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. It's been on the festival circuit. And we started to sort of play with this idea of what this would mean for the region if we took the same concept and we took it to the region where it's now not just Jamaica but it's Haiti, Barbados, the Bahamas, Trinidad, the Dominica, <laughs> on and on and on. <laughs> right. Or even filmmakers that don't live in the country or in the region, you know, but from the diaspora. Right, they right. have some kind of ties. This, was, this, was, this is really the genesis of what we're calling the smartphone film contest. So there are four rounds to this contest. And in the end, five filmmakers join this show. And together we produce six short films that become one film. And that film gets world distribution in theaters around the world and here in the region. And of course, that movie plays on tempo. So the prize is basically you, you're the prize. You get to make a movie that's gonna be seen by millions and you get paid to do so. And so the smartphone phone contest is designed to really sort of propagate and fuel this whole idea of the new Caribbean cinema. We're asking filmmakers from throughout the region, you don't even have to be a filmmaker, you can be you can work in the theater. Maybe you're an actress like like Leslie, um, who has an idea for a one-minute short film, or maybe you're a singer, you know, and you want to do a, a short a short musical Music video <laughs> based on something. We're we're opening up to everyone, and it doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter your status. So what are the rules for the first round? We're asking filmmakers from throughout the region, throughout the diaspora, around the world, to submit a one-minute scenario based on one of the four films that we've reviewed on this show. So say you're in Jamaica and you saw The Wedding Ringer. We're asking you to take a scenario from The Wedding Ringer and create a one-minute film, a one-minute scenario. Only now it's from a Jamaican perspective. So we're asking you to put a Jamaican spin, a Haitian spin, a Trinidadian spin on The Wedding Ringer, or Selma, or, an, or American Sniper. So, what is the criteria for this contest? Well, let's go first with smart. The smartest word that I know is original. So, what we want is for you to showcase your island, or the island you choose to represent, in an original manner. Well, it's a smartphone film contest, so it's going to be smart, right? And a smart film is a film that um, invites critical conversation, that makes us think, right? It's an intelligent film that's going to challenge our ways of thinking, that's going to uh, really voice our, our identities and identities maybe that we had not even considered before, experiences that we hadn't really put a, a lens to or even imagined. Phone, your sound quality. We want to be able to hear your unique voice clearly and succinctly. Phone. Okay, so phone means technology. This is a new technology that we want to see uh, what kind of innovations can be brought through it. Phone, as for sound, and as for the non-English speaking parts of the Caribbean, we're asking you to submit English subtitles. So if it's coming in from Puerto Rico and it's in Spanish, we're asking for English subtitles. If it's coming in from Martinique and it's French, we're asking for English subtitles, and so on and so forth. Film. We want to see your visual sophistication. So this new technology of the smartphone, we're asking uh, that so our filmmakers I'm manipulate it and create uh, a new kind of media or a new kind of art through this lens, which is a very new kind of lens that we're more and more seeing the world through, right? So film is cinema, and we're expecting originality. 
We're expecting good writing. We're expecting good directing. We're gonna look for these things because remember, 50% of the vote will come from the panel on this show. And we're gonna be looking for good writing. We're gonna be looking for good directing. We're gonna be looking for good acting. But most importantly, we're gonna be looking for your original voice. We want this to come from you and your country. Contest. This means you're contending. You have to remember that 50% of the votes come from views and likes in social media, which means you have to pump this through Facebook and Instagram. You have to get your film seen by others. The short film submitted should be entertaining. Otherwise, why would we watch it if it's not entertaining? We're gonna fall asleep if it's not entertaining. At least I would. So we don't want that to happen. We want people to have that emotional connection, whether it's something hilarious, whether it's something dramatic, something that makes them sad, something that makes them stop or and think. We just want to connect with the audience. So you essentially have to keep that in mind. And lastly, submission. We're asking you to submit your one minute films via YouTube or Facebook. If you're submitting your film on YouTube, then we're asking you to share it on Facebook because the way we're gonna see the films is typing in a hashtag, the cinemas. With that said, when you share it on Facebook, we want you to hashtag the title you selected, hashtag Carolwood, hashtag the country you're coming from or the country you're representing. What I like most about the, we're playing with this whole theme and this whole idea of Carolwood. Uh, Nigeria has their Nollywood. Yeah. India has their Bollywood. Um, uh, this producer and I in New York were really discussing, well, what is Carolwood? It our stories. Right there, you know. I can get you. By hook or by crook, I can get you. I know what's going on now. I can get you, baby. I can get you. Listen to the drum.